While the world is just starting to catch its breath from seeing the Air Force's brand new F-47, there are whispers that something even crazier is already flying, in total secrecy. Something so advanced it could skip an entire generation of fighter jet development. Sounds like science fiction, right? But what if I told you there's mounting evidence the USAF might be quietly working on a seventh generation fighter jet, and it would absolutely shock the world if revealed today. Let's break this down. All right, before we dive deep into the shadowy seventh gen rumors, let's talk about the F-47 for a second. Because honestly, this jet alone is wild enough. The F-47, which Boeing snagged a $20 billion contract for in March, 2025 isn't just another upgrade in a long line of fighters. It's the crown jewel of the Air Force's next generation air dominance NGAD program, one of the most secretive initiatives since its launch back in 2014. Here's where things get really crazy. In 2020, Air Force Acquisition Chief Will Roper casually dropped a bombshell. He admitted they'd already built and flown a full-scale prototype of this next-gen fighter in total secrecy. No leaks, no social media hints, no satellite photos, nothing. In today's age of 24-7 surveillance, that's basically unheard of. So what's this F-47 packing that makes it such a game changer? For starters, adaptive cycle engines. These aren't your grandpa's jet engines. They literally shift configurations mid-flight, switching between sipping fuel for long-range missions and going full throttle for combat. Collaborative combat aircraft. This is where it starts sounding like Star Wars. Each F-47 will command multiple AI-powered wingmen, carrying weapons, sensors, and electronic warfare gear. One pilot controlling the firepower of an entire squadron? Yeah, that's happening. And let's not forget the raw specs. A combat radius of over 1,000 nautical miles, top speeds north of Mach 2, and stealth tech that makes even the legendary F-22 Raptor look like a teenager sneaking home past curfew. But here's the kicker. Each F-47 comes with a price tag of roughly $300 million, the most expensive fighter jet ever built. So with all that said, the Air Force is clearly flexing its technological muscles with the F-47. But, and this is a big but, what if it isn't even their biggest play? Here's where we step into the shadows. The Air Force has a history of running parallel development programs, working on next-gen systems while still building out the current gen. Look no further than the B-21 Raider bomber. Northrop Grumman started conceptual work on it even while the B-2 Spirit was still rolling off production lines. And there's evidence the same pattern could be playing out with fighters. Back in 2015, DARPA kicked off its Aerospace Innovation Initiative. It wasn't just about concepts on paper. Multiple companies, including Boeing and Lockheed Martin, built experimental demonstrators. Some of these first flew as early as 2019 and 2022. These weren't production prototypes. They were test beds, likely to prove out technologies far beyond the F-47. Then there's the money trail. If you dig into the USAF's fiscal 2025 budget, you'll notice hefty allocations for advanced aircraft development that aren't tied to the F-47. For the past three years, funding for cutting-edge tech has skyrocketed, even beyond what's needed for six-gen fighters. On top of that, listen closely to Air Force Brass. They've been dropping hints about the future of air combat being dominated by autonomous systems, rapid prototyping, and system of systems warfare. It's subtle, but it paints a picture. While the F-47 preps for service, something even more advanced might already be on the drawing board or in the skies. And here's where it gets exciting. Thanks to digital engineering, additive manufacturing, and high-speed prototyping, development cycles that used to take decades can now happen in a fraction of the time. Boeing's T-7 Red Hawk trainer went from napkin sketch to first flight in just three years. The F-47's design process was even faster and more sophisticated. So ask yourself, if they could pull off that kind of rapid development in secret for a sixth gen fighter, why couldn't they already be testing seventh gen demonstrators? Let's get real. If a seventh generation fighter exists, it's not just faster and stealthier. This is an entirely new class of war machine. 
First up, artificial intelligence. This isn't a pilot with a fancy autopilot, we're talking fully autonomous fighters, jets that think, adapt, and make life or death decisions faster than any human. No cockpits, no life support, no G-force limits, smaller, deadlier designs. Picture this, a single human commander overseeing hundreds of AI-driven fighters sweeping enemy airspace, coordinating strikes with brutal precision. Sounds sci-fi? The groundwork's already here with the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program, which bagged $559 million in 2025 alone. Secondly, propulsion. F-47's adaptive engines are impressive, but 7th Gen could go hypersonic, or even aerospace capable. Engage orbital targets? Intercept hypersonic weapons? That's not far-fetched. Next, stealth. Multispectral stealth means vanishing from radar, infrared, acoustic, and even visual detection. You wouldn't just not see it, you wouldn't even know it was there. Then, next level materials. DARPA's exploring metamaterials and programmable matter. Imagine a jet reshaping its airframe mid-mission. Strike fighter on the way in. Recon drone on the way out. Star Trek? Nope. Possibly already in R&D. And finally, the energy leap. Future systems need massive onboard power for directed energy weapons, sensors, and AI. The F-47 made strides here, but 7th Gen could push into compact fusion or next-gen energy systems. Bottom line, if these techs are in play, even as prototypes, they'd absolutely shock the world the day they're revealed. Here's the big question. Why would the U.S. need 7th Gen fighters now? Short answer, China and Russia. China's J-36 prototype took to the skies in late 2024. Russia's P-A-C-D-P is rumored to be 6th gen capable. The U.S. doesn't want to match them. It wants to stay a generation ahead. Based on the F-47 timeline, 7th gen work could have started around 2023 as F-47 designs wrapped up. With digital engineering and rapid prototyping, demonstrators might already be flying in 2025. History backs this up. The F-117 Nighthawk flew for nearly a decade before the public saw it. Could the same thing be happening now? The stakes are massive. Global power projection within hours. Operations across air, space, and near space. Fully autonomous combat. Removing human limits from engagements. This isn't just about winning wars, it's about deterring them. Such overwhelming capability could stop conflicts before they even begin. And sharing parts of this tech with allies? That would strengthen partnerships and lock the U.S. in as the leader of future joint defenses. 